above all else, guard your heart for everything flows from it. So this one, above all else, guard your heart for everything flows from it, like everything derives from it, regardless of what you do. And what made me come up with that, because I wasn't going to do a scripture, I was looking into the camera and I had like this like look, and you know how people say, oh, you're giving me the screw face or the stink face or mugging me, when really that's someone that did not guard their heart from something something and they're allowing it to something happen and it's allowing you to like bring it into whatever situation you're in whether it's your facial expression or your attitude and that's why god says guard your heart because the joy of the lord is our strength so if you allow somebody to attack or approach your joy of the lord and try to take that from you um, which they can't take it from you. They can just add, you know, you can either add good to it or you can add bad to it. And I think sometimes people allow that to affect them. And if you allow that to affect you, it affects your heaven. So don't allow somebody um, to remove your joy or to hinder your joy. Because if you allow somebody to hinder your joy, they're hindering your future. They're hindering your place and position. As I spoke about earlier this week, like your position in heaven it like i don't want it to be windy every day i don't want it to be sunny every day i definitely don't want it to thunder and rain every day however i do like speaking to the lord my thing is this so you're not really taking anything from me i love rainy days if i don't love nothing else i love a good rainy day a rainy night so i'm just saying weather weather doesn't determine my future or place or position in heaven um what i was gonna say there's so much more to the back of the story versus me praying it's not done by works there could be somebody that has an even greater position in heaven and they've done no works for the lord i'm not doing works for the lord just to be in heaven or have a position or be a teacher um he ultimately pulled me into that position i lost my mind and i got that position and i was told kept people kept telling me like guard your heart guard your heart and i didn't understand but there are some things that happen in life that can prevent you from being happy or having joy and god wants you to always have it that's why king solomon was telling people to guard their heart how could he go up and have the wisdom that he has to speak those proverbs if he had some heaviness on his heart that's why most of the time in church we're so busy trying to pull out the heaviness and the thickness that's there so that we can even worship or receive healing or for god to even show up because he's not going to stand in the midst of pride there's certain things that he's he's with life and not death there's things that he doesn't come in unless that okay so god won't come if that stuff is there and, and he he has to come to remove it you get what i'm saying like if he's there it's gone but in order for him to come there it has to be gone it cannot be there and that's why there's always like a servant or somebody trying to pull in that spirit or usher in that spirit they have to be in that place and if they're in that place they change the atmosphere because when it shows up that's no longer there he removes it but ultimately um greater things can happen miraculous power healing and you know supernatural can happen if you don't have to remove the thickness if the thickness isn't there we can go to a greater level in god and some people don't understand that if they're like oh i have grace you know sin happened yada 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 but if you remove all that and you continue to walk in your holiness you can go to a better place and i know that sometimes life happens and people don't want you to go to that place or have that much um position power or be in that location so sometimes things happen and you have to guard your heart from those things so that you can see the mysteries of god and you see the greater works of god you know that's the way I like no greater works than these uh speaking tongues all day i think he said more than you and yada yada, yada you know in the bible and things like that so it it's really it has nothing to do with works guard your heart make sure that love is there and that peace is there and the joy is there and god will always like he said he will never leave you he'll never forsake you he's gonna always be there it's just a matter of where you're at it could be a windy day all day but do i want it to be a windy day no sometimes i have curls do i want it to be sunny no sometimes i wear makeup i don't want it dripping down my neck do i want it to rain no sometimes my outfit is super cute so no you don't it's not a weather thing it's a place in a position it's an attitude it's your heart it's the condition of your heart your healing is the condition of your heart you know hi how's it going <laughs> nice i like your shirt you got a lion shirt you ready 
Be yeah. nice. So yeah, you have to guard your heart and not let this stuff affect your daily life. 